Hey guys, I have a little tip here uh, for chandeliers and how to get them to glow uh, like this one. So this is a very simple uh, trick that we use fairly frequently in chandeliers and hotels and restaurants and so on and so forth. Um, basically, you start with your glass material, you know, and uh, someone reminded me the other day to make a simple glass material, all you need to do is double click on V-Ray material. and make your refraction, just make that white. If you want to see what you're doing, click up here, show background in preview. Take your reflection, uh, you may as well set that to white. Leave your reflective glossiness at one, leave Fresnel on as it is. Uh, take your diffuse and make that black. And that's it, that's basic glass. So that's what you start with. Um, in this case, because I have a lot of glass in front of other glass, I have set my max depth to 15. So it's going to reflect 15 times. Light's going to reflect 15 times on different surfaces instead of just five, which is default. Also refraction, I've set the max depth at 15, so it can go through various objects. So we shouldn't be getting any black or any weird things happening because of that. Um, and then reflect on backside. Again, I want to see the reflections on the other side of the material, so I've turned that on. But you don't have to add these extra bits I've said here. You can just do this plain glass material and that will work well enough. Okay, now what you then do, because if I assign this, like if I do this, So there's not really any glow going on here. Um, all we've got is we've got these lights here inside the chandelier and those are picking up on various edges. So to get these to really glow, what you do is you create a V-Ray light material and I've made the multiplier on that up to five. Uh, but that's all I've done here. And then you plug that into a V-Ray blend material. You have the V-Ray blend material right here. So you double click that, that comes in. You plug your viewing material into the base slot. You get your V-Ray light material and you plug that into coat one. But now you need to get how this blends. So you get a fall off. And I've created this curve here with the fall off. Um, and you plug that into blend one. And then you get this and it renders as we were seeing it earlier. So you get this effect that it looks like the lights are bouncing around inside and coming through and you've got a lot of lovely light occurring there. Um, now just to go over this fall off the way it was created. All right, I just simply took the mix curve. I just added a point in here and then dragged that down. Not quite to the bottom, but almost. So we're going to get some light here on the edge and then made that bezier smooth. And that's pretty much all I did really. I did some little tests here to see how it would come out. But that's how it's coming out. The other thing which you can do is if I get rid of this point. So now there's, you know, no nothing here. And obviously nothing there you're going to get, you know, a complete blowout. Apart from in the very, very middle where you'll get glass. But you can change this as well to Fresnel. And again, that will put it just on the very edge. Or rather, should put it on the very edge. You can see here it's coming all the way into the center. So we're going to add a point even if we put it on for now and pull it down. Probably not quite as much there.
Yeah, something like that. It works well. And you get glowy chandeliers. And that's really all there is to it. There's nothing more than that. 